Hey guys, Michael Lafito here. I'm so excited. I have a guest on today's video, but before I introduce her, a couple things. Number one is differentiate. Jack Trout says differentiate or die. One of the things that we teach agents is to make their property stand above the competition and be memorable. And when it comes to luxury, international is even more important. You know, we teach agents that, that there's five primary price points in most markets. You got starter or entry level, you got average price point in that market, you have high end, and we define a high end home as two times the average sale price for that market. Bucket four is luxury. We define a luxury home as three times the average sale price for that market. Then the fifth bucket is ultra luxury. So when you get into buckets four and five, luxury and ultra luxury, the international market, you need to expose it, not just locally, but even more so internationally. And you need to differentiate that property from the competition. And one of the ways you can do that is through having the language, the property description in different languages, right? So we're in Chicago, we're a melting pot and of different cultures, different languages. And so we just got done touring a three and a half million dollar property. It's pretty sweet. And you saw our sign out in front with the sign writer where somebody could call or they could text a code and get access to the pictures. And why don't you introduce yourself, introduce what conference you're in town for, and then we'll talk about what you do and your company. Hi, Michael. Thank you so much for having me on. So basically, I'm in town for the IOI Summit, which is the NAR Big Tech Summit. I love this event. I've been to every single one, every single year since I started in San Francisco. How many years ago approximately was that? Oh 10, my 15? gosh, not that long. Okay. I mean, you know, six eight, or seven years, something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's been it's my bit. first one. I'm going to lobby con it. I'm going to go over there and lobby con tomorrow, but go keep going. Well, I'm from the Bay Area, San Francisco, and language is very important. And when you are, whether you're selling a luxury property, especially important with the luxury property or any home, you need to be culturally sensitive. And language is super important. If you look statistically, one out of every person, every fifth person in a household, English is not their primary language. One, One out, out of five. every five. Okay. Yeah. And also, if you think about it, it's just not languages, it's dialect. If I have an international buyer and I can showcase the property to them that they're looking at in America in their language as well as their dialect, that shows them that I culturally respect them and makes them very comfortable with working with me as an agent. Mm -hmm. And it makes it easier for us to start the conversion to close. So uh, languages are important. Our company specializes in languages. It's not just slapping on Google Translate. If, if somebody else says that, I'm just going to go, ah. Cringe, you know? right? I'm going to cringe because it isn't. Languages are very complex because if I listen to like an Irish dialect in the United States, it sounds like a leprechaun. It's horrible, by the way. I would be offended if I'm from Ireland. But the way we do it is we use proper Irish dialects and then also West because they speak Welsh there as well. So, so, so real quick, uh, your company does audio tours. So mm -hmm. basically taking the description of the property and translating it to how many languages? So we're at And over... I say translate, audio <laughs> translation so they can listen to it. We do. We do. We translate in over 50 languages. We are going to be up to 104 languages with dialects as well. Uh, not only do we do the audio, we now deliver uh, luxury showcase pages visually and closed captioning. So everything can be delivered and you can people can drive by, listen to it in CarPlay, which is really nice. They can scan QR codes and they can actually take a tour of the property like you know when you go to a museum and you listen yeah, to Yeah, I was tour? just in Italy last summer. They had it in different languages. We yeah. toured the Colosseum in French because we couldn't wait for the, there was no spots available. So we heard every third word we understood. But it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's it's important. And, you know, think about in America, when I look at properties in Italy, if I could have them properly translated in audio so I understand what I'm looking at and how it is, that, that would just be so much more enticing for me to actually go visit the property, look at the property, buy the property. You know, we're a global business now. So, so you bring up a great point. So mm -hmm. I, I teach agents to differentiate. You want to differentiate your property from the competition through better positioning, better 
better staging, better better description of the property, what you showcase, but also a better experience. The customer experience has to be better. If somebody is seeing five homes, you want to be more prepared than the other four listing agents. You want that buyer and their agent to have a better showing experience. It's key. And so one of the ways they could have a better showing experience and find out more about the property is the actual audio tour, right? And so it's not just about photos. It's also the description. You know, I, I like to use the term Ritz Carlton experience, right? So you want to you want to give that buyer the information in their language. I tell agents all the time, a buyer want to see a, buyers want to see a home when it's convenient to them, not when it's convenient to the seller or to the listing agent. Buyers want to get information cutting edge right then and there. We're all busy. We get pulled in a lot of different directions. If English isn't their primary language, and again, in a lot of, a lot of these major cities, it's not, but also in a global market where people are online, swiping left, swiping right, they want to be able to listen to or read the description maybe you know even with different currencies but at least the description of the property oh a hundred percent you're you're right on point with that and there's no reason to not explore having your properties properly translated there's like our the tool that we provide is easy for individual agents to use brokerages to use we connect seamlessly with mls's so everything is virtually done for the agent and you can actually find our pro our tours on platforms like realtor.com or zillow so wow yeah. now now is there any I, I i believe there's some kind of compliance that's supposed to go into effect as well uh with yeah. your pro not your product but in general and your product helps solve that so talk to me about that isn't there with the disability act with audio and and ca closed caption yeah, so uh, being ADA compliant is really important and it's not going away. So in California, there are some laws that they're trying to push forward where your website, your listings all have to be ADA compliant. And ADA compliance is not just satisfying uh, one disability. You have to satisfy people that are hearing impaired, visually impaired, neurodiversity, and with language barriers. Can you imagine? English, not speaking English and having a disability, how difficult it is. Yeah. So uh, that's something that's being pushed forward in California. Something will pass at one point and then it's going to eventually bleed out to the other states. So what we have to do is get ahead of it. Um, and I don't want anyone to be scared about this at all. We're all doing great. Sure. But the truth is, is that if you can put on ADA compliance with multi-language on your real estate listings and consumers look at it as an accessible tool with multi-language that they enjoy, like a additional little virtual tour of the property, you know, it will help you sell homes. It's going to help you get the listing. And then more importantly, it's going to help get it sold. And so literally I could see, and you could tell me if I'm wrong, agents using QR codes on open house sheets, yeah. on the sign riders, through websites, through Facebook marketing, what have you with QR codes to say scan and, and listen to the property description in 50 or 100 plus languages. So let's say I walk into an open house, I'm gonna scan it, I'm gonna listen to it in Spanish, and at the end of listening to the tour, I can actually see on while I'm listening to it, uh, it translated in my language, and at the bottom of it is a contact the agent where I can actually fill out information if I'm curious about it. It can go directly into your CRM or email of choice. Mm -hmm. So it also helps lead capture Great. for those prospective buyers. Yeah, and, and you're going to differentiate yourself from the other agents that maybe are only English speaking. Even if you are only English speaking, you're still going to maybe get some multi speaking, uh, multi English, multi language speaking uh, prospects and clients because they feel comfortable and they feel like you're uh, being sensitive to their language. Exactly. And let's not forget our aging out groups of so people that are older, that, you know, I mean, visually sure. impaired, hearing yeah. impaired. So even if you're in a, selling homes in a community where there's really not a lot of need for multilingual, there is a larger need for people that are hearing impaired, visually impaired, uh, are aging out group. Or, or just someone like myself that I feel like I need my <laughs> cheaters all the time. So this has been great. And where can they find out more about your company? So if you go to uh, directoffer.com, then you can scroll down and you'll find the audio tours tool. You can actually sign up for free and give it a try, basically. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. 
and it works for a commercial property as well as residential. Residential, property. commercial, directoffer.com. Directoffer.com. In town for the uh, conference, which I'm going to uh, lobby con it tomorrow. We just toured a three and a half million dollar property. I can't wait to see that video. So thank you for your time. Again, if you guys want a copy of our latest book, bestseller in multiple categories, you can go to freeluxurybook.com, free luxury book. It's on Amazon. It's on Barnes and Noble, Kindle, soft cover, hard cover, and coming out in September, Audible. Michael Lafito, make it a great day, and thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Michael. All right, you're welcome. Bye. Bye.